Adding cue points using ActionScript with the FLV playback component. If the cue points aren't already encoded or burned into your FLV, you also have the option of tying cue points to FLVs using ActionScript. They can be applied dynamically very easily in code with either the FLV playback or video player classes. The FLV playback class is the class that you use to control instances of the FLV playback component. The video player is a simpler version of that class with fewer features and does not correspond to any component in, in the components kit. Once you have an instance of either of those, for example, an instance of the FLV playback component named FLV playback, you can simply call add AS cue point on that instance to create a cue point using ActionScript, passing the time of the cue point the name of the cue point, and what custom parameters you want in this cue point. To start, please navigate to the folder FLV Playback AS Cue Points and open FLV Playback AS Cue Points underscore start dot FLA and save it out as FLV Playback AS Cue Points dot FLA in the same folder. To begin, I'd like to note the three instances we have on our stage. First, we have an FLV playback component with the instance name FLV playback. We have a text field with the instance name label. And we have a movie clip with the instance name level mask. If we open up the actions panel and select the actions layer, you'll see that I've prepared an array on this frame already. The array is called AQs, and in it I create a series of custom objects, each with a time, a name, and a params object. The params object contains a label and a level property. I've prepared this in advance to save us time in working with this file. All of these represent the various cue points that I wish to recognize while playing back my video. But this is just the data. I haven't done anything with it yet. To begin coding, we'll position our cursor at line 1. We are going to be utilizing the metadata event. Because we are using the FLV playback component and not playing video raw with the net stream, we are going to need to use the metadata event, which is separate from the on metadata function that's called on the NetStream client. In order to use the metadata event, we are going to have to import it. Import fl.video.metadata event, where d is lowercase, which is different from the on metadata function in which d is capitalized. Next, we are going to want to listen for the cue point event, which is a type of metadata event, on our FLV playback instance on the stage. And when we hear it, we're going to want to run a function called onCuePoint. So we'll talk to the FLV playback component, and we'll add an event listener to it. Metadata event dot Q underscore point. And when we hear that, we'll run the call back on cue point. Next, we'll tell our FLV playback to play a video. And we'll point it to one of the videos without cue points in it. FLV playback dot play open quote dot dot slash underscore capital media slash FLV slash 1920s dot FLV close quote close paren semicolon now again 1920s dot FLV does not have cues 1920s underscore cues dot FLV does but we're going to be applying our cues with action script so we want to play the video without cue points already in it then we're going to skip down to after we have declared and established our AQs array of cue points and what we want to do is for every cue point that we've defined in that array, we want to add that cue point to our FLV playback component. 
So we'll write a for loop to do this. And the way we are going to execute on that is by applying a for each in loop. A for each in is new in ActionScript 3, but is very similar to a for in loop. You just work with the variable slightly differently, uh, but you'll see how we do that here. For each, open paren, var q, in a q's. Open curly brace, close curly brace. Then inside of the body, we'll talk to the FLV playback component, and we want to run the method add ASQ point to add an action script cue point to the FLV playback instance. And we want to pass in the time property of Q, the name property of Q, and the parameters property of Q. And so this loop will go through each one of these cue points that we've defined in AQs and add it to the FLV playback component instance on the stage. Next, we have to write the function on cue point, which we've referenced up here on line 2 as the callback for the cue point event on the FLV playback instance. So we'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll define the function on cue point and it will expect an event argument because this is being called uh, as a callback to an event being assigned through add event listener. Now the parameters of our cue point are label and level and we want to set the text value of the level text field on our stage equal to the label and the height of the level mask based off of the level. So we will add the two lines of code label dot text equals evt dot info dot parameters dot label and level mask dot scale y equals number evt dot info dot parameters dot level close paren divided by five and now I will save. And as we test this movie, and you saw that the cue points registered and we had them affecting uh, elements of our interface. And you can prove, if you need to, that these cue points are being established through ActionScript by simply commenting out line 76 that adds the cue points to the FLV playback component instance. As I test, you see that we get none of the text and the level mask movie clip isn't changing. So close my Swift. And now your code should look like what we have in FLV playback ASQ points underscore finish dot FLA. I'll save the FLA. And that concludes this lesson.